Minding. Thank you for mining some of the sand for me. <coughs> Mr. Creeper saves us a little time. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think my heart stopped temporarily. Well, now I can finally read the rules. Never try to escape the underground. Okay. Now I know that. straight up. Let's go over here, grab all of our stuff. <sighs> that was, that was scary. Death count. One. And probably more to follow, sadly. Very few subscribers, that is, 
That is great. I don't know if I'd call, but I have few. 67 is quite a bit, actually. And as soon as I reached that number, I was amazed. Yep. Oh man, this is like the best cave. Maybe we'll hit some diamonds. That would be, be awesome, be preferable for me. Also, just so you guys know, I know I mentioned in the first episode that I put the challenges in the description. I don't actually do that. I actually put a link to the Planet Minecraft page, and right on that page it has all of the challenges. And obviously right now we're not really focused much on those challenges. Um, but soon we will be, and I'll have like a checklist thing and stuff later. Um, um, so yeah, if you click on the link down in the description, you will be able to view the challenges and then maybe what I'll do is I'll put like a, I don't know, like a link to a document, like a, a notepad document of challenges that are available and I'll have check marks by the ones that we've completed um, as well as like statuses I could put like like if it's collect 500 dirt I could put like 30 out of 500 or whatever just so all of my viewers are kept updated with the challenge status that would be good so just so you guys know it's probably what's going to be happening so that is good it is good yeah and we are actually low on hunger I made a big mistake not grabbing anything to eat. So let's head back now. <clears throat> I know I say this towards the end of most of my videos, but, uh, well, I say the until next time, rate, comment, subscribe, play on. Um, every time I get a thumbs up, that really encourages me to make more and to make the best possible stuff, which, I don't know, some might argue that I don't right now, but soon, soon, my content will hopefully get better over time. In fact, if you go back and watch some of my first videos, which I think have been removed now um, by me for no apparent reason, I think you'd notice that my commentary style has changed quite dramatically, as well as kind of my narration style, which, I don't know, I don't have all that great a knack for narrating and stuff like that, but, you know, I'm working on it. Anyways, where I was going with that was, every time I see a like, it just, just empowers me to do so much better. And course, along with that, every time I see a positive comment, it really cheers me up, brightens my day. I have to just take a moment and say thank you. So that's, it's amazing. So 
some of the support that I've gotten from you guys. <clears throat> and of course, along with that... <clears throat> oh, excuse me. This is a bad time to choke up when I'm talking about my narration style. <clears throat> along with that, I say every once in a while that this is not just my YouTube channel. Jeez. I'm dying over here. So, like I was saying, every once in a while I say, it's not just my YouTube channel, it's also yours. So with that comes, like, if you want to see me play a certain game, you can put it down in the description. Um, I always say that if you have an adventure map you want me to take a look at, let me know. I will play it. If not, on a video, I will at least try it out and kind of message you and tell you different things to improve, um, what was really good about it, different things like that. The world can always use another totally awesome adventure map, and we are about to starve. At least the entrance is right here. And we need more torches as well. Gonna have to go on some coal hunts. Or we could always make charcoal. That would be an option. Do you have any food for me? Yes, you do. I'll take the steak. But, uh, something small. Nope. Okay. We'll just eat another steak. Still haven't collected any of the cactus, but that's not really a big deal at this point. Start smelting that iron. So, I guess we have so much extra iron right now with that stuff. Let's just make iron armor. Why not? That and that. Put that in there. And put all that on. Good, good. Good, good. Yeah, we are going to need... Let's just make some of... Let's do this. Get out of the way, Bobo. I don't want you suffocating this tree. Okay. You're, you're good. I'll make some uh, charcoal. Let's make another furnace. Right away. We have plenty of cobble for that. There we go. And then we'll just go like that. And that there. Things on our farm are looking fairly slow right now. shortly should take place. I just have to say right now, the retextured charcoal really saves me a lot of the time. Like, I don't know. It's just, it was so, it bothered me so much when charcoal and regular coal were exactly the same. It was just really frustrating to me. I, d I don't understand why either, but it was. I'd be raging if I got charcoal. And so. Well, we can make uh, 12 torches. And that'll, that'll be good for now. Let's go back down 
here. Let's see if we can just find... Okay. A ton more creepers. Yep. Check. A ton more creepers. Well, there goes my way down. some of the challenges are to kill so many of each mob and we just well, we won't count it for now because obviously we've killed some and then used their loots for stuff especially skeletons um so maybe later when we get like our mob grinder going and different things like that be doing good. I'll try my hardest to make an awesome mob grinder, which will, one that will maximize the mobs that spawn, as well as, like, kill the mobs and collect their resources. Because right now, we don't have any diamonds, so we're not really going for the experience, but when we are, I could modify it so that it'll take, I don't know, we can make like a dropping mob grinder. It's going to be difficult though since we're underground. I'll try it anyway though. And the reason I'm grabbing all this gravel is to make some flint for arrows because I'm just thinking that would be kind of nice to be able to have um, a bow to be able to kill mobs with, especially when we reach areas with the spawners that we have to find, as well as there's the graves. Um, if you've watched the trailer for this, um, I don't know if you want to call it survival map, or if you want to call it adventure, it's a little of both, but, uh, in the trailer to this map, which should be on the planet Minecraft page, um, there's one part where they show the, uh, one of the grave sites, and there are mob spawners everywhere, and mobs appearing basically everywhere. So, we'll be looking forward to that moment when we find one of those. Not. Actually, I kind of will be. Because, in the trailer, I saw that there were, I think there were two double treasure chests, I want to say. But I'm not entirely positive if it was or not. I really need to start placing torches on like the left side of the caves. That would be a lot easier for me to wake my way home. If I just kind of place them everywhere. No coal to be found. <coughs> oh, there's a spider to be found, though. What we can do is we can head back to that one cave, or the, uh, the one ravine that we found earlier, not the one that we found this episode, but the one we found last episode, and we can tower up because I believe there's coal towards the top of that one that I left there for now. I believe this is the way. If not, oh well, yep, this is. Huh. Look at that. That is pretty fantastic. Also, since I always love to say a little bit of channel news, um, in, how many weeks? I believe it's in, it's in less than three weeks. Um, 
there is the Chicago Comic Con, and since that isn't all that far from my home, I will be attending. Not that anyone really cares, or anyone will approach me. <laughs> but, just so you guys know, I will be there. I'll be there on Saturday, and I am planning on making some videos, like, kind of showcasing the floors of the Comic-Con, as well as, uh, I don't know, kind of looking from afar at the celebrities that are going to be there. There are a lot of celebrities that are going. It's going to be awesome. Obviously, it's not going to be as big as San Diego Comic-Con, but, alas, it will be awesome. I will have a lot of fun. Um, so, yeah, stay tuned to the channel for some San Diego Comic-Con stuffs. And I believe, I believe it was down here somewhere that led to the ravine. But I'm not entirely positive. And in other news, today was the day that I started my first class in college. And it just goes today, Friday, next Monday, and the Friday after that. It's just kind of an introduction class. Um, it's, it's interesting. Um, ow, who's skeleton? Um, so yeah, I have a couple more classes for that. It's just kind of like an introduction to animation. And stuffs. So hopefully, hopefully I will be learning quite a bit. And we are currently, as of right now, out of food. That sucks. Actually, I think we can make a piece of bread. Yes, we can. Awesome. Yeah. And now we are officially out of food. But... That should be alright, because... Fairly soon, hopefully, actually, you know what, let's just do this now, I'm just gonna be like, bam, and plant some of this, and, let's just do this, kind of, uh, conserve our room here. There we go. And then we'll just do that. And of course it only dropped one seed. There, that one dropped two. Alright. Maybe it's up there to get to the ravine. Nope. That just leads nowhere. I've started so many different pathways here, it's confusing. That doesn't lead anywhere. Check chest quick. Nothing. My guess is it keeps falling on top of the uh, cactus block when it breaks. Which sucks. That or this block of dirt is just like making it so it can't grow. I'm just gonna do that and 
block is placed on. I won't do anything. Oh, hello, zombie. Hello. And goodbye. Oh, this was the way, I'm pretty sure. Nom 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 on some flesh of the rotten sort. Yep, here we are. And there's some coal right there. <laughs> and now you see how terrible I am at parkour. But, if enough of you suggest a parkour map, I will have to do it. Unfortunately, for not only me, but also you. Trust me, you guys do not want to see me attempt parkour. We will, it would be the longest running series ever on YouTube. I almost guarantee it. Half a stack of coal. It's not bad, not bad at all. See some more down there. Some more right there. So we should be good on coal if we keep coming back in here and getting some. Unfortunately, it doesn't appear to be all that renewable of a source. As in, it doesn't look like there's all that much coal around everywhere. So you might have to conserve a bit and then just use charcoal in the future when we run out of coal at our disposal. I'm sure we'll be making frequent coal runs to this place and some of the other caves. So, yeah. Let's grab all that. And let's head back. Bobo. No, not there. And it has to be all caps to make it professional. Probably the worst impression 
of um of a trumpet you will ever hear ever. Well, we have lost a great and valuable companion this day. We will never look at the world 